Since Apex Legends has been out for a while now, one of the first questions that comes to mind is when it will decide to follow its Battle Royale counterparts and release a mobile app. So rather than relying on Respawn Entertainment to potentially create a mobile app, today we'll be checking out a solution that allows you to experience the full desktop game on your portable devices right now. Stay tuned, I'm Aaron. If you haven't guessed already, this solution is completely reliant upon streaming the game from your home computer to your mobile device. What you probably didn't know about, however, is an app called Moonlight. It's a tool based on game streaming that's completely free to use and works over the internet with latency that can mostly be overlooked. There's only one catch with Moonlight. You will need an NVIDIA RTX or GTX series card to use the software. This is because it makes use of NVIDIA's game streaming services already built into GeForce Experience, so AMD cards are out of the picture. For those of you who are still with me, I'm assuming that you do have GeForce Experience, but on the off chance that you don't, whether you're following along with this video or not, install it so you can have the most up-to-date drivers. Then go to the settings in GeForce Experience, and then under the Shield option, make sure that game stream is set to on. Then grab your mobile device and install the Moonlight application from the App Store if you're on iOS or from the Play Store if you're on Android. From there, if you're just trying to play over your home network, you're pretty much done. Your PC should now show up in the application and then just by clicking on the icon, you can connect to it. The only thing that you will have to do is type in the code that you see on your phone on the PC itself. As soon as you're connected, you can now play all of your favorite games, including Apex Legends. Next, we have the controls. The pre-enabled on-screen controls will be read by your computer in the same way that an Xbox controller would. So this means that if the game that you're playing doesn't have native support for an Xbox controller, you will need some software to map those controls to keyboard inputs. Apex Legends is one of these, so if this is the route that you're going, you will need to get some software. That being said though, I'm not going to go too in depth on this or the other control methods as there are quite a few, but there will be links in the description to help you out. Next we have keyboard and mouse inputs. If you're on Android, depending on your phone, you will either need a USB-C or micro USB to USB adapter, a USB hub, and then your keyboard and mouse. With all of this hooked up, you will be able to play Apex Legends in the exact way that you would on your home computer. However, if you are on iOS, you will need to jailbreak your device if you want to use a keyboard and mouse, but do not fret if you don't want to do that because that's not your only option. If you're okay with spending a little bit of money, there is a wide variety of M5 controllers compatible with the iPhone, and I'd argue honestly that that is the best way to play. I didn't personally choose to pick up an M5 controller for this video as it is more of a showcase of the software, though if I were using game streaming a lot, I would pick up a physical controller myself. Again, a few recommendations of my M5 controller recommendations are down in the description. Alternatively, on Android, you can hook up wired Xbox controllers to your device if supported. All this being said, Android definitely has the upper hand in the amount of controller options used for Moonlight, but the software is identical on both OSs. After setting up your controls, you can technically stop here, though if you do want to play outside of your home network, there are a few things that you need to set up. Moonlight does provide a tool that allows you to stream multiple devices over the network at the same time, though since I can't imagine that many of you will be needing that as I didn't myself, I'm not going to cover that in this video, so all we'll need to do is open a few ports on the router. If you've never port forwarded before, it is super easy. Just find your router's admin panel, log in with the standard admin password login unless you've decided to change that for whatever reason, and then find wherever your port forwarding settings are, and then open all of these ports. They're in the description too if you don't want to pause the video. From here, you'll need to go back into the Moonlight app once again, and then click Add Host and type in your router's IPv4 address. If you set up all of the ports correctly and follow the instructions for GeForce Experience, you should be able to connect to your computer on a different network or even on a cell signal. Bear in mind, if your signal isn't very strong, you may have to lower the bitrate, frames per second, or resolution. I found that for myself, the ideal settings are 10 megabits per second, 720p, and 60 frames per second. On a capable connection that runs pretty smoothly, it looks good on most devices, and it runs super fast. Alright, so that was a lot of information, but if you missed anything, there's an entire setup guide that the Moonlight team made themselves, link in the description. That's it for this video guys, if you did enjoy it and it was helpful in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more weekly tech content.